So uh, yeah, my name is Dave. Uh, I, I go, I write under the pen name Praying Medic. And I was an atheist for the first 38 years of my life. Uh, didn't believe in God, did not believe in healing and miracles. I actually mocked um, people who were born again Christians. Uh, I was, I was uh, a confirmed hardcore Darwinist, right? So in 2000, uh, through an interesting set of circumstances, I became a Christian. For the first eight years that I was a Christian, I did not believe in healing and miracles. I went to a church that did not teach the gifts of the spirit, did not teach anything supernatural, nothing about dreams, visions, anything like that. Um, I, I was, even though I was a believer, I was full of unbelief. And that was a problem when God gave me a dream, my first dream in 25 years. On August 8th, 2008, I met God in a dream. And he said, and I had been working as a paramedic most of my life. God told me in the dream, he said, I'm going to show you what's wrong with your patients. I want you to pray for them. And when you do, I'll heal them. <laughs> and I was like, that's the craziest conversation I've ever had. Um, I did, like I said, <clears throat> I did not believe in healing and miracles at the time. Even though I had been a Christian for eight years, I was firmly convinced healing and miracles stopped, ceased 2,000 years ago. So I had a problem because God was now telling me that healing and miracles happen and I was going to do it. So over the next nine months, um, I prayed for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of my patients, and none of them got healed. All right. Uh, if I had the gift of healing, some of those people would have been healed. I do not have the gift of healing. Uh, I, I was full of unbelief and doubt and skepticism. <laughs> and, and I didn't know anything about how God's supernatural kingdom works. And so I was begging God to heal people. I would literally go in the ambulance. I'd transport my patients. I would ask God to heal four or five different people a day and nobody ever got healed. And I would do that day after day, week after week, month after month, nobody got healed for nine months. And then I thought, okay, I got sick and tired of this nonsense. I really did. I got fed up. I was, I, I quit. I'm done, God. I, I did my part. I prayed for all these people. Not one person has been healed. So I'm done. You're not holding up your end of the bargain. I'd go to bed at night and I'd have a dream. Uh, I would be in the ambulance praying for someone and they would get healed. <laughs> so I'd go to, go to work the next day and I'd pray for more people and nobody got healed. <laughs> I was like, and this went on and on and, and I got so sick of it. But in that time, um, I started following some people on YouTube who were actually having some success seeing people healed. Todd White was one of them. And what I noticed about Todd White, his approach to healing is different. He wasn't asking God to heal people. He was commanding ligaments, nerves, and tendons, and bones to be healed. He was commanding evil spirits to leave. There wasn't any of this, you know, God, if it's your will, please heal this person. He was releasing power and exercising authority. And I was like, I was... I was dumbfounded when I first saw this. I, I was, and I was offended because I thought that's not legal. You can't like command people to be healed. It's not how it works. And then I, I started going through the New Testament, looking at the way in which Jesus and the disciples healed people. And that's exactly what they did. If you look at all the healing accounts in the Bible, there isn't one healing account where someone asked God to heal them. Not one. It was all done through the exercise of authority or the release of power. And if you look at um, Luke chapter 9 and 10, Matthew chapter 9, 10, and 11, those are some really good chapters that illustrate the dynamic of healing. But in Luke chapter 9, verse 1, it starts out, it says that uh, Jesus called his 12 disciples to himself and gave them power and authority over demons and to heal diseases. Jesus gave his disciples power and authority. And when I read that, I was like, wait a, wait a, wait a, what? He 
did. He gave them power and authority. Right. Jesus gives his disciples power and authority. So um, I, long story short, um, I started learning the dynamics of releasing power because the Holy Spirit lives inside of us. If you're a Christian, if you're filled with the Spirit, if you're born again, you're the Holy Spirit living inside of you. The Holy Spirit is the power that created the universe. The Holy Spirit is the power that works miracles. We release the power of God into people to work miracles. We exercise authority as Jesus and the disciples did, and we command demons to leave. And how does that help you guys? Well, I found out through the last 10 years or so that most cases, uh, and not say all, but many cases of tinnitus are demonic in origin. It's, it's caused by some kind of evil spirit and sometimes demonic devices. So I, I, <laughs> I, I had been praying for people with tinnitus for, for quite a while, through, mostly through email, some pe people in person. And I had pretty good track record with frozen shoulders and torn rotator cuffs. I, had, I was even developing a pretty good track record against cancer. Uh, I'd seen people with vision problems uh, get their eyes healed, all kinds of amazing things. Never saw anybody get healed of tinnitus yet. So I'm teaching at this class down in Tucson. And after I did my instruction, the students came up, they asked for prayer. I'd pray over them. This one gal says, I said, what do you need? She goes, I got tinnitus. And I'm like, oh, great. The one thing I haven't seen anybody healed of yet. <laughs> and so I was, I was teaching them on um, the, the revelation that God gives us through words of knowledge, words of wisdom, how the Holy Spirit will actually show you keys, strategies for healing. And so I closed my eyes. Well, I'm looking at this woman and I saw something sitting on top of her head in the spirit. When I closed my eyes, I saw what looked like the branch of a cactus stuck on top of her head. And I was like, okay, I'm just going to do a prophetic act and I'm going to remove that thing. Right? So, so it, my eyes are closed in the spirit. I reached forward. I grabbed this thing and I pulled it off of her head and she went, Oh my God, what did you do? <laughs> she felt this cold air rushing into her head and she was freaked out. Huh. Now, she didn't know it at the time, but I had removed some kind of demonic device that had been attached to her head. And that, that was the end of her tinnitus. She never had it uh, ever after that point. Once she came to her senses and realized what was going on, she realized that the tinnitus was, was gone. So that was my first case of seeing someone healed who had tinnitus. Now, uh, let's see. Sherry, I don't know how long you've been following my, my Telegram channel, but this is December. I think it was probably around February or March of this year. Uh, a whole bunch of people showed up in my Telegram channel and one day, who, were, who wanted to be healed of tinnitus because I had posted a, a tinnitus healing testimony that day in my Telegram channel. Um, someone emailed me and I prayed for them and they got healed of tinnitus and they, they emailed me back saying, hey, I got healed. Here's my story. I posted it in my Telegram channel. That day, I think 12, 13, 14 people posted prayer requests in the channel wanting to be healed of tinnitus. Mm -hmm. Okay, because it's very common. I mean, you guys it's know so that. common. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people have it. A lot of people. We saw nine people healed of tinnitus that day oh, in the Telegram channel. <laughs> as as we collectively and as I prayed for everybody in that channel, one person after another after another after another posted their testimony saying, "Oh my gosh, that noise is gone. The ringing is gone. Uh, I got healed." So. <laughs> We saw nine people healed of tinnitus in one day. Wow. I'm telling you this because I want you to know there is hope. People do get healed of this. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's, you're not a hopeless case. Uh, God can heal anything. 
the power of God in us, when we exercise authority, people can get healed. Um, I, I've seen it. And I'm no longer afraid to pray for people with tinnitus because we, I've actually seen a bunch of people healed of it. So, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pray for uh, you all to be healed of tinnitus. And Sherry was nice enough to send me uh, a list <laughs> of uh, prayer points that she has kind of developed. And I'm going to use some of those prayer points. And I'm going to pray for you to be healed as the Holy Spirit leads me. And, uh, you know, now we'll see what happens, right? Absolutely. Right. So I've got to put my spectacles on so I can read. Uh, all right. Holy Spirit, I ask you to bring your healing presence upon all people listening to this broadcast. I ask you to bring your presence for deliverance of evil spirits. Lord, bring your glory. Bring your presence. Touch the listeners with your presence and let them know you are real and let them feel your presence. Lord, bring your presence for deliverance. I command ears to be healed. I command inflammation to go away. I command capillary blood flow to return to normal. I command pain to leave. I command nerves to be healed. I command brain tumors to be cast into the sea. Inner ear tumors to be removed. All tumors, I command them to be gone. I command fistulas to be removed. I command aneurysms to be healed. Intracranial stenosis, I command you to be gone. Condition of IIH, I command you to go away. Abnormal pressure in the head, I command you to be normal. Intracranial pressure, I command you to be normal right now. I command vascular and nervous system damage from stroke to be healed right now. Blood vessels healed, nerves healed. Excessive earwax, I command you to be dissolved and go away right now. I command anemia to be healed. Blood cells, red blood cells and white blood cells, I command you to be healed and normal. Meniere's disease, I command you to be gone. Bacterial and viral infections, I command you to leave right now. Spirits of sickness and disease, I command you to leave. TMJ, I command you to go. Command the TMJ temporomandibular joint to be healed and aligned right now. I command viruses, bacteria, fungi, parasites, mold, and all environmental toxins to be removed from your body right now. All right, I'm going to uh, ask you to renounce any agreements that you've made, like this drives me crazy, I feel left behind, I feel hopeless, I just want to die. If you have said any of those things, I want you to renounce those agreements right now, come out of agreement, and say that you want Jesus to heal you right now. Also, if you feel despair, hopelessness, anger, uh, any negative emotions, what I'd like you to do is ask Jesus to take those negative emotions from you and ask him to heal the wound in your soul caused by those emotions. All right. <sighs> Let's see. Uh, I command the nervous system and the blood vessels, the vasculature in the ears and the brain to be normal. I command arterial plaque to be removed. I command blood pressure to be normal, heart to be healed, blood vessels healed, aorta healed, 
I command the ventricles and atria of the heart to be healed. I command blood pressure to be normal. Spirits that cause blood pressure, I command you to be removed right now. I command the shape of the red blood cells to return to normal. I command ruptured eardrums to be healed. I release the healing power of heaven. And I command new structures in the ear, new eardrums, new stapes, incus, and malleus, new vestibules, new stilia, all structures of the ears that have been damaged. I command them to be made brand new. New bones in the ear, blood vessels commanding to be normal, normal nutrient supply to all tissues, normal absorption of all nutrients, iron, copper, vitamin A, vitamin C. I command cerebrospinal fluid levels to be normal and pressure to be normal. I command the carotid arteries to be normal. I command all veins to be normal, jugular vein to be normal. All, all blood vessels and all abnormalities to be removed. All, all blood vessels, I command you to be normal. I command hearing to return to normal. Excess noises, I command you to leave. Lying spirits, I command you to go. Evil spirits that are trying to silence the voice of the Holy Spirit, I command you to leave right now. Some of you are, are going to hear popping uh, <laughs> during this. It's okay. Don't worry about it. God's healing you. I command the spinal bones, cervical spine, to be correctly aligned. Holy Spirit, give them a chiropractic adjustment and align the discs and bones in the neck. I command all damage from drugs, chemo, surgery, radiation, contrast dyes to be reversed. All negative effects to be reversed right now. Command blocked arteries to be open and have normal blood flow. I speak life to dead nerves, and I command dead nerves to come back to life right now. I command <clears throat> head injuries to be healed, hematomas of the brain to be healed, soft tissue injuries of the head to be healed, skull fractures healed, the cilia inside the ear, the cochlea, I command them to be healed and made brand new. Command the lymphatic system to be healed. <clears throat> I command any blocked lymphatic flow from the head to be removed. All lymphatic vessels, I command you to drain lymph nodes, drain and circulate fluid normally. And <clears throat> the Lord says what the enemy has taken from you can be restored to you seven times over. And I declare that whatever the enemy has taken from you, finances, <clears throat> especially finances, that it will all be repaid back to you. All right. Lord, bring your healing presence. I command all evil spirits to leave. I command hearing to be normal, all extraneous noises to be gone. And I remove demonic devices that are in place causing tinnitus. All right, Sherry, that is my prayer.